20-year sibling rivalry, Mario and Luigi team up using synchronized super moves in their most ridiculous adventure ever. Let's go! Okie dokie! As he goes about his day-to-day -day business, just sort of, you know, walking around, punching things, you know, it's ba it's Bowser, it's, a, it's the Koopa King. <laughs> this is what he does. This is all he has. I hope that does what that's supposed to do. We'll see. We'll find out. But I had to change some audio stuff. But we should be good now. Um, yeah, you know, last time, uh, Fawful revealed himself after poisoning Bowser with a mushroom, and Bowser that caused Bowser to begin to inhale everything around him. Kind of zonked him out a little bit, too. I didn't even, like, he didn't even show back up to the Mushroom Kingdom with, like, or to Peach's Castle with, like, declaring a plan. He just was eating things, and people, and Peach, and Mario, and Luigi, and Starlo. And Toadbird. And Toad's Worth. <laughs> Just ate everybody, you know? Uh, and now we are following two different threads here. Mario and Luigi, along with as along with all the residents of the Mushroom Kingdom, are inside of Bowser's guts. Um, and now we have to which it were me. Um, and now we have to continue on. <laughs> and now we have to continue on as Bowser. Uh who at the moment can't breathe fire. Uh, but hey, before we get started, if you've been enjoying this or anything else on this channel so far, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified of more things in the future. Episodes of this just about every single day. Links in the description of things that I am doing, have been doing, or will be doing in the future. Also, if you're my friend, I'm making a game. Any and all support towards that would be much appreciated. You can support us by... by, by uh, uh. Uh, uh. You can support us by supporting anything on this channel, supporting the devlog streams, and most of all, supporting the Patreon with that. Let's keep going. Notice that Bowser has, like, really subtle, like, shell turns. On his walking animation, on his forward walking animation, really nice animations all around. But also really, fu really fun detail. You can see Bowser's like body move up and down in the bottom screen. Uh, well, well, specifically while you're moving, which is a really nice touch. This game already is is filled with so much detail work that you simply just do not get any of. Like you just you just don't get any of it. Uh, any of that, uh, like this kind of, like th this kind of like concept, like like the concept being fully realized, you just don't get any of this in Partners in Time. Partners in Time does nothing with its concept, stylistically or otherwise. It's kind of crazy. Bowser does get his, his he get, Bowser gets his own items and his own uh, blocks and stuff, which is fun. Hey, hold up, quit hovering. What is your surprise face? Was it forget was there forgetting about me? Wait, I know you. You're the weirdo who tricked me into eating that mushroom. Do you even remember Bowser? Does Bowser? Surely everybody else will remember who Fawful is. You are the one who is correct. Wasn't it full of delicious? Such a special treat called a vacuum shroom. I, Fawful, invented it to make you inhale everything you see. And I, Fawful, am betting that you are remembering nothing. 
you inhaled like a hungry syrup pig at the free pancake buffet. And then you had the napping, and then I put you in the cave. What? What's your problem, pal? What's your beef with me? Beef? I am lacking in beef. Fawful is beefless. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad Fawful is back. I'm so sad that he will not make it out of this game. <laughs> but I am having a goal. Mushroom Kingdom will be mine. All of Mushroom Kingdom spread for Fawful like Power Brunch. Yo, Fawful, are you hungry right now? You're talking about food a lot. First, the appetizer of making toads round like with blobs. Then the side order of using vacuum shroomed Bowser. Fawful is gorging on his plan and win of win. And still he has hunger. You're nuts. No hunger for nuts, just to conquer Mushroom Kingdom. First, the, empty the emptying of the Castle of Peach. And then... And then, and then, and then, and then, and then... The castle of Bowser for me. I will be powering it up with the castle of Fawful. Whoa, hold up, champ. What about my castle? Oh, this is this has this is familiar energy. I feel like we've seen. Oh my god, we're just watching Bowser's minions get iced, like actually killed. How did Fawful get all this stuff? Unless he just tinkered away a bunch. Who who are even Fawful's own like followers even? I also like how Fawful's plan was I'm going to harass and do the weirdest things to everybody in the kingdom. They're going to be so they're gonna be caught so far off guard that nobody will be able to react appropriately to what I'm doing. <laughs> Please, get over yourself. A castle's gonna be fine, pal. Hmm, we will be seeing. Anyway, I thought you would be sleeping long like a lazy bear. And I am thinking you should be sleeping more. Come, Midbus. Hey, hey, come back, I'm not done with you. Hmm. You. No longer needed. Here, you taste defeat. Taste of feet. You're gonna taste my fist, you little piglet. Taste your fist. <laughs> I think not. I have no taste. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I, was just, I was just gonna say that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Senses for the weak. You listen, Peach gone, Lord Fawful, new ruler. Now, no need of you. Lord Fawful says sleep. Now you sleep. What is wrong with you? Nothing you say makes sense. I know you made me mad. And once I get mad, I need to punch something. Come here! Showtime. Bowser's intro is so good. Midbus? He is having a big punch. Oh, crud. I was ready. Midbus, have readiness. The longer he is holding back the punch, the bigger the hurting to your face. If you are snacking on a punch held to the very last second. I have brain pain. Just think, just just with the thinking of it. Oh, I, f I forgot that this is how Bowser's tutorial works. Also, Bowser's fight music is also incredible. He gets all, he gets all his own music and cues and things like that. Um, and he also works completely different in combat. Bowser's music, like boss fight music, is so good. Um... The vibes in this game are just so good. Again, it it's like it's really night and day. Partners in Time doesn't feel like it utilizes and like fully like commits to its own premise, it, either stylistically, tonally, thematically, um, mechanically. This game is like right off the bat, everything is just cohesive, um, which is fun. Uh, and it's nice to see. It's, not, it's nice to feel that too. Of course, I, I have history with the game. I, this is one of my favorite games. But like, it's nice to jump in here and immediately be able to feel the difference in that regard. Um, looking, trying to be as unbiased as possible, but also I don't know. The game's really good. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, this is a really fun idea, though. The fact that like your enemy is the one who's sort of 
supplementing you with, with a tutorial. I have the brain pain just with the thinking of it. Oh, I think I pressed it at the right time. Badness. If you are holding back your punch to the last second before pressing X, that is badness. The worst kind of bad badness. Do not have naughtiness and press X at that, that timing. Something like this. Oh, it's just satisfying. The build-up power punching is very full of naughty badness, yes. But building up too much power and failing, that is full of young. Punches built up to the last second are full of risk. Midbus, now is the time for striking. They can press naughty. That is danger, do not press X. Pressing X. Okay, so it comes out quickly in the um, counter attack. That punch is like a danger sandwich. Not tasty, Bowser. You are ha you are the handful. But my Midbus eats danger sandwiches like they were full of hoagies. Midbus, action time. Destroy him and we go home. Who even is Midbus? He's like an armadillo pig man? That was only a great. I know what I need to press there, but I don't have access to it yet. Oh, mushrooms making me feel cruddy. Can't win like this. Oh, Bowser doesn't have his A game. <laughs> you are weak. Most weak. What? How? It does not end here. Work on your skills. I feel like Midbus, Midbus could have just straight up killed us, but okay. And I feel like that's what Fawful wanted him to do. I mean, they say sleep, obviously. It's a Mario game, but no. Uh. Hey, you listening in the gut? You listening? I hear you. Sounds like Fawful is taking over. I'm headed for the castle. My castle. Huh? No, that's no good. Go to Peach's castle. We have to go look. We have to go to Peach's castle. What am I, a taxi? Want a coffee too? Maybe a ma maybe a massage? Look, my castle's in danger. We gotta head there right now. That weirdo can't have it. Okay, I understand. Do as you must. Nothing we can do right now, but Bowser's in bad shape. It's possible some changes will take place in his body. Yeah, all we have is punching. The punch seems like it would be hard to... Oh, and of course, and because we're fighting as Bowser, we have to have enemies that, like, match his, just, size. Oh, they actually stopped for a second. Freaking Goomba enemies. Look at these guys. What are they? Chaboomba. I mean, listen, okay, obviously, it is a Goomba enemy as our first enemy, much like the bro- the, much like the bros got in the last episode, but come on. That's a pretty good- that's a pretty good Goomba. <laughs> the laugh. Oh, okay, so when they- Bowser has his own flag and everything, and he also has- I mean, Bowser, again, this is not, this is not like, oh, Bowser is like gimmick se sections of the game. Bowser's not a gimmick. He is, he's a fully realized character. He's a fully playable character. He's not just like, um, he, 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 he is not, he does not serve as subsections of the game or anything like that. You know, this isn't like Paper Mario Bowser. <laughs> Oh dang! Okay, that actually tripped me up. Yeah, so when they pant first, they're gonna they're going to stop right before they run up to you. The fact that they actually like fly backwards too—it's so satisfying. Oh. Oh, okay. So there are small enemies that you get to just blow over because you. have a freaking final boss character. <laughs> Do I even need to punch them? Can I just walk into them?
seeing a lot of stuff involving things we can't do yet. The music in this area is just very good. Um, I, I remember the soundtrack being uh, extremely good. We'll, we'll, we'll see, but I have pretty confident in that. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Oh, there is a little bit of a wind-up. But Bowser's fist goes out pretty far, so... That wind back is it just looks sick. Like I like that Bowser's healing items are drumsticks too. Oh, we can't drop down on ledges, that's good to know. We cannot hop up ledges though. <laughs> And the wind-up animation is so smooth; it's a little easier to tell, like about when you're gonna hit, about when you need to hit it. Of course, it does have the same uh, disadvantage that the hammer has, where if you wait too long, you will you'll do no damage instead of um, less damage from doing it early. The freaking Chaboomba stopping in place, panting. These poor guys. Nice. Now Bowser is just Bowser. Bowser has a f okay. Well, I mean, we can get Horn is yeah, lucky hitting scratch cards, whatever the heck scratch cards are. <laughs> um, I'm feeling like let's get his pow over 60 since we can. Cool, <laughs> sick. Well, all of Bowser's voice lines are just great. Great Beast slouches by. It is you who is he. What? What is this? Oh yeah, Bowser's, uh, Bowser hasn't gotten to go on a RPG adventure yet, so he's not used to this just random things happening to him. Ah, so it's not, for I am not there. How would one describe me? I am the voice within. I am your consciousness. I am above and all around. I am all that is you, a consciousness bound to you as you are to me. Shall we travel together? Stop talking. <laughs> ah, so very unenlightened. Anger will get you nowhere. It matters not where you go, for I will speak my peace. Ah, shut up! I bear you no ill will. Our minds have bonded. This is a rare thing. So rare that I will teach you. Teach me what? Hurry up. I love every single person who has spoken to Bowser. Bowser has gotten frustrated at the mirror, just at the, them talking at all, <laughs> has pissed Bowser off greatly. Smash that boulder to see. Use your inner strength. And so it springs to life. That is called a chalk road, a conduit for energy waves that bond Earth to space. Hey, buddy, you make no sense enough with crazy talk. Fret not about the details. Just touch, just just touch the the chalk road. Be still in body and mind, and be one with immobility. Oh, it's like a teleport port. Okay, so it's how we, we move around. This place is nice. Now we travel. 
with our minds. I don't remember this either. I suppose Bowser is too big for pipes. Hey, I was just here. Wondrous, thrilling, yes, the powers of Earth and space. Our journey took us to the place etched in your mind. Do you understand? No, for you are unenlightened. Quit messing with me, just take me back now. Anger benefits you not. Touch the truck road again. Choose your former spot, travel there with X. You exist there now. Choose your former spot to travel there with X. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, he was saying I uh, that he, that was mine. I thought I was getting through the dialogue, but it, it was repeating the same thing because I was mousing over where we already were. Now we travel. I don't know why they gave Bowser some sort of mystic spirit. How amusing. Yes, you are surprised. Not too shabby. Brain guy, take me to Bowser Castle and make it snappy. This is beyond even me. One can only travel the chalk roads one has found. If an area's chalk road is hidden, you go there not. It is the way of the mind. When you find a chalk road, your mind bonds to it. Then you can travel. Too many words. You are unenlightened. When you find chalk roads on your travels, touch them. You cannot find chalk roads by merely walking around. They hide their waves, their energy, their very essence. Break things to find them. <sighs> Not that I care, but who are you really? Who am I? I exist somewhere in this kingdom, and that is all. And now, I go. I actually don't remember that if that gets explained. <laughs> and that's just it. That's just it, because of course it is. Blubble Lake and Plaque Beach. Blub Blubble Lake, Plaque Beach. Okay. Hold on, was it more there? Oh, can't do anything with that yet. Oh, things are coming back to me. I know, I know how we're gonna unlock that, actually. Actually, I'm remembering a lot of stuff now. It's been a while, even though I played this game quite a bit, it has been a while. Welcome to Plaque Beach. Thanks. So then we just move on because we gotta make sure we don't lose our castle. Because how many times has Bowser lost his castle? I love that we get to see glimpses of enemies that Mario and Luigi will get to fight whenever they make it back to the world. And then we should just mow them over. Taking the kingdom by storm, Squid Fit. Ride the balance raft and punch the coastal walls. Flex your abs and twist your hips. Oh, gosh, that's reminding me. I freaking exercise today and everything hurts now. <laughs> the balance raft is all about momentum. If it starts moving, then you're doing it right. Soon you'll have the shape, the shapely hips of a squid. Nice, right? It's Squid Fit. That's fun. It's a fun little way to get around. Oh, that's actually a dude. Oh, okay. I just I just sort of pieced together the plaque. Be it's called Plaque Beach, and there was just massive teeth everywhere. And there's a toothy instead of like a a spine, not a spiny. What it would. <laughs> 
Maybe they are called spinies. I don't know. Either way, that's weird. And then the Chaboombas are eating... No wonder this place is filled with plaque. The Chaboombas eat nothing but lo giant lollipops. Ooh, a lucky hit. Holy crap. Oh. <clears throat> nice. A hot drumstick and a fiery drumstick. What's the difference? Eighty HP, a hundred and fifty HP is an item that we currently have. Jeez. Okay. Do I? E yeah. Do I even need to point out that I don't know? Probably the time never had us do anything. <laughs> Half as interesting for navigation as that. As even just the simple, the simplicity of flying by and hitting things as you fly by. I guess the moving platforms where the the two parties were separated. Hello. Ah, hello, Bazir. Manjo turtle bits. I do remember liking this guy. Ah, sweet Manjo, help me. I need help. Help us, my silver I can't. I don't know. I don't speak French. Huh? What language is that? What are you doing over there? Hey, hey, it's <laughs> the most I've ever related to Bowser. Ah, bonjour, why are you? Why are you? None, I am too rude. I am broke, bonjour. I was... I ask that you look upon this. I was cleaning the collection, but the <laughs> collection of... Your block man and your collection is blocks? I find this disturbing. It's like, it's like if I, my, if I had a collection of mannequins, right? Like, that would be kind of strange, wouldn't it? Disaster. It's... It struck me. Moi. Moi? 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 <laughs> the bridge to the beach. It fell into the, <laughs> it fell into the water. <laughs> Manchur, you have the odor of a gentleman. And we, oui, it wafts. <laughs> and a gentleman helps the needy. Surely you have the credo. You have the, this credo? We? Oui? Whatever you're smelling as a me, pal. I don't do charity. I'm too busy for this. Stop, I'm begging you. Good, munch your turtle bits. Why do you turtle bits, though? You, you who I am not smelling. Enough with the yelling. Why would I help you? But how can you say this thing? You have very much to gain. I, I will give you the gratitudes. What? Gratitudes? Ah, uh, your interest, it peaks? Uh, this is wonderful, marvelous. Uh, we, a uh, hot black spirit dwells in you, Manjo Black Turtle. Manjo, a oh, block spirit dwells within you, Manjo Turtle Bits. A blazing fiery block spirit. We, oui, you have the power. Look upon this. Well, hold on. I can just technically already do that, though. Why do I need specifically you to give me a block to tell me to do it? Uh, how is this for gratitude, huh? I give you this glorious thing. The hot block spirit cries out for you from your belly. It's it cries for this block. It is born for you. What is wrong with you? It's just a stupid block. Ah, your tongue bite upon it. This block is magnifique. Do not utter one ill word of this block. The block collectors, they pay one million coins for this home? It is so very rare, we You will know this if you hit it. We oui, you will be in for the big surprises, Monjo Turtle Bits. Surprises, huh? Fine, what do I do? Nah, thank you, Messi. You are a gentleman. A, a, pre, a, pre, a press all? <laughs> you are a gentleman. A press all. <laughs> Look upon this. The petite island. It is floating in the ocean. <laughs> oh, no. Is this what I want to do for him the whole game? A surprise to you, non? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You see this rope on the beach? <laughs> if he pulls... <laughs> if you are... <laughs> if you... <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to... <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get through this game like this. If you are to pull this... You will move... You move as... The entire island. <sighs> Just pull on the rope. Give me a challenge, pal. Have a taste of Bowser power. 
Oh. Mm, something's happening. Bowser's arm. And here, here lies the gameplay loop. This is Bowser's arm muscle. It's reacting somehow. It's carrying something or trying to pull something. Oh, which is which is like standing right in front of his muscle on the inside. It's freaking gross. Some kind of switch, huh? Mario, look out! Whoa! Feels like I just got a power boost. What? What happened? Oh, crud! Oh wait, I'm gonna lose coins if I get hit? That's messed up, I don't even have that many coins. Urgh. I think that stimulated Bowser's muscles. They're getting huge. Yeah, so basically, it's funny. They didn't just reset the brothers in this game, they also reset Bowser's level, like power in a sense. Cause we've seen what Bowser can do in the other games, right? So they kind of just reset him by having Fawful give him that mushroom. That puts us in a weird, in an interesting place where we get to we get to be Bowser, and we are already stronger than like than the average character in these games. But at the, I mean, maybe not. We we are we are on par with Mario and Luigi. Let, let's be honest. Um, however, uh, we get to like slowly get Bowser's abilities back, almost like like how like what what they would do in like a Metroid game, essentially. We slowly get to like get his get get his mojo back. Um, it's interesting, but then you get like, but because you get to be Bowser, you get to do like these incredible feats <laughs> that are just absurd. You really get to just feel it's it's kind of like it's a little bit of a power fantasy. But I mean, that's not to say like Bowser still has his own struggles equal to the brothers. He the things he fights are just much bigger and much stronger than maybe the brothers fight typically. Hey, try hitting some more of those lights. The... Try hitting some more of those light balls. Ow. Oh, quite impression of the buttons. As Bowser pulls a whole island back to shore. <laughs> Oh, I get it now. If we stimulate Bowser's body like just now, he appears to manifest some sort of extreme strength. <sighs> oh yeah, feel it. Hello, Manjo Block. Hmm, strange. The world it appears to be upside down. Upside down. But that is no matter. You helped me, and for this I salute you. Not a blabbing, buddy. Make, make with the surprise block. Ah, but of course, the block. From what? Such a fine block. We sing the song of the block. Pauvre. This is this this is another thing that sets that like makes Bowser. This is another another mechanic that like pushes this elevates this game's concept. Um, because it's not just we get to be Bowser, it's not just, it's not just that we get to be the brothers inside of Bowser, it's that the brothers work in tandem with Bowser to accomplish things, and vice versa. Bowser will get to swallow things that then affect, that the brothers can then fight, or that affect the brothers, and it's just, it's good. We're not just playing two separate parties who, like, one party does one party just sends one something down to the other party, right? Or well, one party does a thing and then the other party does a thing. It's like, no, the things that we're doing together, at least if I remember correctly, feel like they're more like directly involved with one another. 
that like and, and and the variety there too i think the main problem with partners in time is that it was very one note it was babies do a thing and then adults do a thing or adults do a thing and then a babies do a thing and it was the same like two or three things over and over and over again for the entire game moving platform send a coin up throw the babies down to a hole whether it's a hole in a wall or a hole in the ground um, and then like and they and then once you do those things they feel very detached they feel they feel very like one note but like if i remember correctly we'll see we'll see we're early on in this but if i remember correctly this game does a much better job at giving you a variety of things of ways that like each party affects one another um that we'll get to see first off we got a mini game that's already like leagues better than most of the stuff that we did in Partners in Time, because Partners in Time had like too many games and they kind of sucked. They, 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 weren't, they weren't very interesting. The falling down slowly to collect the, the to, to collect the, um, like what, the coins in, in Partners in Time and the volcano? That was all right. That was like, that was like half, that, that, that was half of the mini games in that game. <laughs> this is just a normal block, no surprise. What gives? Your tongue bite upon it. None, that looks like a normal block. That is why it is so devious, my little block. So devious. This is actually a vacuum block. You hit the block, and you inhale whatever lies before you. Say, you use this block in battle, huh? Ah, what is this? You inhale the enemy with bravado. Just bien. Whoa, whoa, inhale an enemy? I can do that in battle? Ah, but of course, it is simple. Come, let us try this out. This is great. You, you will submit to the power of this magnificent block and you will do so now. A tutorial NPC who's actually going to be the one fighting us. That's a great touch. We begin right this second. This is showtime. Oh, showtime we, sorry, we, <laughs> that, that's a word. Now, if you use that vacuum block, you inhale these small monsters. We, when you attempt to inhale the, 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 the vacuum block, reacts so very intensely. Now, you choose the vacuum right this instant. Right this instant. instant. Oh, he's pissed. He's very angry. It, it is incredible. We, this is the power of the amazing vacuum block. Does this block work with anybody else, though? I mean, like, anybody else would just do a normal inhale, right? But Bowser has the turbo inhale or whatever. Major, press the X over and over to inhale. Oh. <clears throat> now this is funny. See, look, and now this is really cool. So basically, even when we're playing as Bowser, the brothers are not left out of things. And there's going and this this mechanic opens up a lot of interesting opportunities that you have to look for too. It's not just a mechanic that works across the board, um, but there's a lot of cases where you can like open up enemies that Bowser Bowser's fighting by using the inhale and sending like parts of enemies or some enemies attached to larger enemies down to the brothers. And so with like you know everybody gets involved. It's cool. And again, this is interesting again because in Partners in Time. When the babies are with the older brother, when the babies are with the adults, they don't really do anything. There's just like extra damage on, like a little bit of extra damage on top of everything else, but they don't do anything unique up in and of themselves. Bowser does stuff, the brothers do things, they happen in tandem with one another. It's just, it just works better. It just makes more sense. <laughs> it feels like there was, there was like effort put forth, I don't know. Mr. Dolores, this is a surprise. Majors inside the major? Oh, majors inside the major? How are you, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. I like to have Mario and Luigi are squared up. They have no context with this. It's just like, we're ready to kick your ass if you want. I cannot pass the time. For I am training the big major with the block tricks, we? Oui? Allow me to go back outside. Do not bother. Silvo's plot. Oh, he just climbs right out. Watch your total bits. You inhale like the tornado. What a vacuum. Oh, huh. I have forgotten this crucial thing. When you inhale like you just did, you inhale the monsters and the items. And the monsters who float up in the air on the top screen get sucked to them to the bottom. Oh, that's good to know. 
Some monsters who resist the inhala inhalation get inhaled by pressing the button fast. If you inhale like this, see how it battles, they become easy, maybe. <laughs> Please remember to watch the vacuum block during the battles, huh? Also, one more thing? Oh. What's this? This unbelievable, surprising thing brings smiles to the world. It's called the retry clock. If you have a retry clock, oh, if you have a retry clock, when your HP reaches zero in battle, time rolls back to the battle start. It is how you say, the do over. We oui, for the battle start with, oh, with all your items back on. See, I, I think a lot of RPGs have been letting you just sort of like restart at, a, at the battle you're fighting currently. Um, even at like. Atlas's new game, Metaphor, just straight up lets you, like, at any point in battle, you can just say, mm, no thanks, I want to go back, and, like, start it back at the beginning, which is kind of funny. Um, if you just don't like how it's going, I don't think it's, like, a penalty either. I think it's just sort of, like, a mechanic. Like, yeah, do you not like how a fight's going? Would you like it to go better? Uh, re redo it. Just, and it's like, okay, that's kind of nice. It's, it's, nice a, it's a nice option. I don't think it's necessarily trivializing everything, anything, because, I mean, think about it, when you die, the penalty in any game is just that you would retry anyways. So at any point, being able to just be like, hmm, I'd like to just... <laughs> I'd like to just, you know, d d try this again. It's like, I think that's kind of nice. HP and SP are also restored fully. So that is just bien, yeah, we. Oui. So even, they're restored fully even if I'm not full HP and SP when I started the battle? That's interesting. That's how it works. But there is only the limited number of ZV track locks, so do not use them too much. We oui, plan your use of them carefully. Sees vos plat. I don't. Yeah, the the ciel ciel vos plat plat plate. Don't know what that means. Says it a lot though. Keep that one in Zizu as a souvenir. Now then, your block tricks are almost perfect. Huh? Let us continue. Un, dos, tres. I know what that one is. Oh, my freaking bones! <laughs> can I? Can Mario and Luigi do things to this guy? Oh no, nope, he's just gonna leave. Now come on, let the brothers kick your butt. Come on. Oh, you have to you have to pull back and punch so much earlier. Oh, a coin pops out of him. That's funny. Oh, that's super funny. That's a that's a great interaction. Oh, the inhale block lets you know too. Oh, very cool. Ooh, lucky hit! Stop, perfect. You have the mastery of the blocks tri of the block tricks. We this battle is over. Oh, we all get stuff for that. That leveled Luigi up. Uh, I think we boosted defense last time, right? So for Luigi, let's do stash. A plus five. Dang. Okay. I love Luigi's giggle <laughs> and his hat falling off. It's so cute. Ah, how is this? Nice, huh? The magnificent, the, the magnificent vacuum block. The color, the gloss, the feel. We are not worthy of this block. Who dare say this block is not so? And you, Major Total Bits, you become a block collector after seeing this block. We, oui? hello, let us meet again, huh? Until then, goodbyes to you. I like him. He's cool. He's fun. Uh, nightmare. Nightmare to read his dialogue. <laughs> a 
and now we can inhale stuff, which is just like a whole new mechanic. I mean, again. Oh, we get the Sucko, and it heals us, and then they run away. Wait, okay, the, the Sucker heal. Oh, no, right, right, right. I remember now. The Sucker from the Chaboombas heal us, but the teeth from the Toothies give us defense when we eat them, which is psychotic. But Bowser is a monster, so... However, that means we don't get the XP from the Chaboomba, though, to be fair. Can we get the horn up? Cry. You do rule Bowser, but cry many. Good to know that we can just get a... We can just get a, um... Free heal when we see Chaboombas now. And that's kind of the thing, right? It's like... The, the... The, um, the suction won't always notify you when there's something to inhale. It won't, it, it'll notify you when there's like a big opportunity, right? But the cool thing about having the um, the vacuum now is that we can always just be looking out for opportunities to use it. Th those are some like, interesting opportunities in the game. For instance, like, yeah, sure we can get a heal, but we can also get a defense boost, which is cool. Sometimes we can pull enemies down to Mario and Luigi and have them finish off smaller enemies, which is nice. Great way to start. Oh, crud. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Ow! Oh, that was one of the little viruses. That was the blue virus from Dr. Mario. That was messed up. Oh, because the because their teeth, their teeth, and they're decaying. It all makes sense to me now. So you can only do damage to them when they're when they're knocked down like that. There's a lot of different opportunities to knock them down. Everybody's, di everybody's dying very quickly. Again, Bowser is just strong. He, he is strong in a way that Mario and Luigi aren't. Mario and Luigi are strong together, and that's kind of the whole thing. But Bowser is, you know, he's, a fi he's the final boss. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a final boss character. He should feel pretty powerful. Eating teeth because of a psychopath. That's funny, it just actually kills it. Cool. Uh, really would like to get that horn at least past 30. Oh. Sixes and fives in there? Like still, jeez. And I still managed to get a one. Crazy. Absurd. Oh, that block was high and behind a thing. Uh, we, I could use heal. These lucky hits, though, jeez. 
Uh, again, I think I think the one thing that we'll probably get feel is that like Bowser exploring the world, the exploration is very light. It's very minimal, generally speaking, just because of his, just because the scale is very different. Mario and Luigi are going to be the ones to actually get to explore. Bowser's more about, like, combat scenarios and kind of combat puzzles, too. Hey. I remember this boss. This boss actually has a pretty cool design. What's this thing? Some kind of weird statue. Weird statue on the beach? That might be the sea pipe statue. Sea pipe statue. Sounds dumb. What is it? Sounds dumb. It's a statue honoring a hero of the sea. A hero, huh? So that means... I'm the model. Uh, he, no, what, Bowser, in what universe are you a hero? I thought you pride yourself on being... It's ugly. <laughs> wait, wait, no violence. <laughs> hmm. My eyes are much more manly than that. Whoa, this thing is moving. What? It's moving? Well, that's not possible. Hey, what's the story with this crazy statue? It's going nuts. I have chortles. It is I who added the nuts to the statue. Whoa, you did what to the statue? That's obscene, Fawful. <laughs> that voice. I have chortles. Your plan I laugh at now makes... Oh, your plan that I laugh at now makes for more laughing. You are wanting your castle? You are not getting there. Oh, yes, I am. Look, pal, I can tell you want to fight, but I'm in no mood. Take me back to my castle right now. You have the impatience. You must stop and sample the sprinklies in life salad bar. I say no to your rushing. Time instead for some playing with fof with a fawfalized statue. Yeah, Fawful is just an agent of chaos on his own. Is basically the... It's like we have no choice. Let's deal with the statue. I was all fired up to let Fawful have it. I'll take you instead. Showtime. Ooh, my timing was off. I actually like the design of this of the statue. It's like a golem. It's pretty cool. And then here we get to actually utilize this mechanic. Now I gotta remember what the heck Mario and Luigi do, though. Also, the main boss theme in this game is fantastic. I mean, the music was so good that I had to, I used it for the intro because it's just, it's just captures, I feel like it captures the essence of the entire series. Oh. Ow. Oh, so he gets to hurt, that's interesting, he gets to hurt Bowser? Ow. While being inside, I mean, while being inside, I guess that makes sense. Screw you, man. Oh my gosh, we get a a lot of free hits.
I don't know if hitting the statue... I mean, I think the top bit is the thing that controls it. That's for sure. How my freak literally tearing into like my tissue. <laughs> oh, whoops. I was pressing the wrong button too. Heck yeah. It's such a satisfying fight. You get to see all the mechanics come together in like a really satisfying way, I feel like. Um, well, cause like, cause I don't know. I feel like, like you immediately, there are parts where you're playing as Bowser, the, the, you're, you're flipping back and forth like one after the other between like Bowser and the brothers. Obviously the brothers have all of their mechanics right now, so you mainly spend time fighting as them, which makes sense because Bowser, but then again, Bowser did get a whole new mechanic too. Bowser doesn't have everything that he normally would have available to him. Um, but it's just really satisfying to bounce back and forth. It feels like it feels like it's like the fight itself is staying fresh, like constantly. It's just sort of like you have to keep like flipping your brain back and forth. Um, but the idea of like sucking in the thing that's actually controlling the statue um, into you, fighting it as Mario and Luigi, it starts hurting Bowser from the inside, so you have to hit it out. So you swat it back out. It gets it gets thrown out of Bowser and gets lodged into the stone. Uh, body, which like gives Bowser an opening to wail on it himself, and you're just like tag teaming. You're just, like, you're just a trio tag teaming this thing, and it's like I don't know. It's just, it's really good. I feel like that's a, a that, I mean at least that fight in particular was like very good. Just very very satisfying to watch unfold. Heck yeah. Okay. <clears throat> You too, will Bowser, holy crud. Seriously thought he could stop Bowser with this toy. Bah. Again? With this water. Actually, I'm kind of thirsty. Oh, look. That area over there. Something happened in his body. Let's go check it out. Hi, right, Captain. And now we have the um, the opposite. So we did something inside of Bowser's body that affected him on the outside with the pulling the island in. And now we're doing the opposite thing where Bowser is going to affect the level that we have up next, which is cool. Um, in a pretty meaningful way too. Like what what Bow what you have to do what you have to do as Bowser may not be super engaging, but like it's affecting what Mario and Luigi are doing pretty drastically. Look over there. The wall that block the wall that blocked the way. The water made it float up. What? Oh, the wall that blocked the way. The water made it float made made it float up. I don't know why. I felt like I was having to stroke there for a moment. Let's swim over and look. Alright. Oh, uh, to swim, just use A and B. If you synchronize yourselves by pressing A and B at the same time, you can swim way high up. Give it a try. 
And now we have a water level, a la Superstar Saga, um, although it's inside of Bowser's stomach, which is kind of gross. Whoa, I feel all sloshy. I think I drink too much. Oh, I get it. When Bowser drinks, the water flows down to his belly. But when he stops, the water level drops back down. Huh? You think Princess Peach might be up ahead? Mm-hmm. You may be right. Let's press on and keep our eyes peeled. Of course, to do that, we'll need Bowser's cooperation. Hey. What? Can you drink some more water for me? What? No, why? Uh, um... Your body's in rough shape. There's, like, filth and crust. The water might wash it out? What filth and crust? Oh, yeah. And you... You think you can fix me up in there? Of course. You get my flame back? Definitely. You can make me better than Mario? Totally. Why not? Uh, you know, if this was just a Bowser game, there would be an argument that by the end of this game, Bowser would be is better than Mario. The problem is Mario and Luigi are having a game alongside him, so the scaling, uh, we're about dead even. And by and by dead even, we, I mean Mario and Luigi, and Mario on his own always beats Bowser, so it's not really dead even. We're just like we're scaling at the same rate. That's kind of the problem here for Bowser. It's a deal. If you're for real, I'll drink as much as you want. Horrifying. Horrifying reality for Bowser. Disgusting. Phew. Alright, let's move on. I really I really like Starlow and, and Bowser's interactions though. Well, you know what though? I mean that's with this save block, that is the perfect place to stop. It is exactly one hour. Uh, we got a whole new area inside of Bowser taking control of Mario and Luigi again. Uh, I'll probably have to start making the parts a little bit longer, but for now I think this is pretty good. And it's it's pretty late. It's like, it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. So I will get back to recording bright and early. Hopefully tomorrow, maybe. Earlier. Bright and early will probably be like, like the middle of the afternoon. But you know what? It'll be brighter and earlier than it is right now. For now... If you've been enjoying this or anything else on this channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, get notified of more things in the future. Episodes of this just about every single day. Links in the description of things that I am doing, have been doing, or will be doing in the future. Also, me and my friend are making a game. Any on support towards that would be much appreciated. Support us by supporting anything on this channel, supporting the Deadlock streams, and most of all, supporting the Patreon. With that, until next time, don't forget to be kind. I'll see you around. Game's good. I'm just, just saying, game, game feels pretty good. It feels pretty good in the hands. I'll, I'll, everything feels pretty uh, satisfying. Everything's actually feels snappy. Fights have been pretty darn snappy, I will say. Um, abilities and stuff have been pretty pretty darn snappy. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We got plenty of game left. Plenty of game left. <laughs>